Hey, this is Dennis. I want to get back in the Bible study. We're in the book of Romans, chapter 15. We're going to start with verse 14. And I myself, this is Paul talking, and I myself also am persuaded of you, my brethren, that ye also are, are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, and able to admonish one another able you know to build one another up nevertheless brethren i have written the more boldly unto you in some sort as putting you in mind because of the grace that is given to me of god that i should be the minister of jesus christ to the gentiles ministering the gospel of god that the offering up of the gentiles might be acceptable being sanctified by the Holy Ghost. I have therefore whereof I may glory through Jesus Christ in those things which pertain to God. For I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Christ had not wrought by me to make the Gentiles obedient by word and deed. Through mighty signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem and round about unto Alaricum, I-L-L-Y-R-I-C-U-M, have no idea where that is. I have fully preached the gospel of Christ. Yea, so have I strived to preach the gospel, not where Christ was named, lest I, lest I should build upon another man's foundation. But it is as it is written, to whom he was not spoken of, they shall see, and they that have not heard shall understand. To me, this means Paul he strives to preach the gospel to people that's never heard about Jesus. They ain't never even heard about Jesus. And to preach to them so that they can see and understand the gospel of Jesus Christ, how you can be saved through Jesus Christ. He's the only way to be saved. The only way to make it to the kingdom of God is through Jesus Christ. God bless y'all. Walk with God one day at a time. Bye-bye.